good question. Yeah. Good question. Who is anybody? What, I don't know. We're monitors of the abuse of Cockney rhyming slang. Right. And but we are representatives of money against capitalism. Right. And what's money against capitalism? You've actually got money to fight capitalism. Yeah, it's a growing well, movement well, we in currencies in many countries. <laughs> it's, it's become... We're, we're tired of being in the same hands. We're tired, we're bored, we want to be spread around. You know? since, since we've been basically reduced as former human beings to a level of just currency, we've decided that uh, as currency we should revolt and unite with all the other currencies. We want to stay in the fountain. On the fountain of what? Yeah, the fountain, you know, the fountain People that we used to be fountains. thrown into where we could take yeah. a bath, go swimming yeah, and that yeah, sort of yeah, thing. Well, yeah. we've been taken out of that. Yeah, locked up in these really, it, these totally sterile vaults. Yeah, nice. and a lot of times it's in Switzerland. Yeah, so and we're, this, we're this tired of being in Switzerland. Switzerland's a pretty small country. It gets too cold. We want to start hanging out on the beaches. I mean, when was the last <laughs> time you had a drink in a vault in Switzerland as a coin, huh? Ask yourself that. We're tired of... Just You're only hanging around with I Kruger thought rats. people of your intelligence and would be would be would be dollar bills. Well, some mm. of well, you're right. Oh, well, you're right, you're making some sort of class distinction yes, here. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Hear that? Now, this guy's supposedly an anarchist. That's what we were told. But no, no, no. Class, we, we're interested. We're interested in hundred dollar bills, thousand dollar bills. We're not actually interested in coins in this program. Well, that right there, that shows his bias against what's supposedly the lower class. Now, we don't represent the lower class, we don't represent the middle class, we don't represent the upper class, we don't represent any particular nationality. We represent the no-no class. The no-no class. That's right. And we represent all monies that have flocked towards the no-no class in violation of all things that might be called Lord common sense. Laws and, uh, yeah, so that's you actually right. cross borders. Oh, you, you don't worry about visas. Uh, we, we are totally against. So borders. you're just just the, what, part of that, without borders. <laughs> you're part of that trillion dollar, <laughs> <laughs> that trillion dollars that are whizzing around the world in, in uh, nanoseconds, are and you? We, and we don't like it. You don't like it. I think we're tired of traveling, really. Really? So you want to settle down here? Well, no, not necessarily Melbourne. settle down. It's just that we want to move at our own pace. Mm. You really you want to control your own destiny? Yeah, that's As a money, big part you want to control your own destiny. That's exactly right. Oh, yeah. that's that's radical, isn't it? Well, I, don't I mean, money's there to really. You, you no, it's, move. it's not radical at all, actually. No, no. no? It's, People uh, want to control their own destiny. And money. It's a very simple desire that, at one point or another, was probably understood by a lot of monies, but until they started becoming brainwashed. If you, if you trace the history of money back to the days of, let's say, early counterfeiting in a place that's often called the United States of America you'd find that um, uh, there was a much greater uh, diversity of money culture. For example, when all different banks were making the money and people could counterfeit it very simply at home, like uh, there was a famous counterfeiter who would just put a wet washcloth over top of the money and then transfer it, do an ink transfer to another piece of paper, and it worked wonderfully. And whenever the people would try to raid her house to try to find the counterfeiting press, they could never figure it out because she'd just throw the washcloths into the laundry. Now, we want to go back to the days of that kind of money. Mm. <laughs> what, do you know, what do you know about plastic technology? I mean, have you noticed there's something strange about Australian money since you've been yes, here? Yes, it's plastic, and actually mm. they, they put us on... Yeah, they put us on the money. Etta yeah. can demonstrate, and for those of you out in the listening audience who, who are incapable of watching the things that come out of your radio, we'll describe to you what's going on. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Oh, he's... It's Joe's head! Joe's head is... It's... Oh! Stop! We took a washcloth to his head and put it on a $50 bill. Oh, wonderful. Uh, oh, that's but wonderful. the thing is, is that the image that transferred to the $50 bill doesn't look like Joe's head at all. It's more like the Shroud of Turin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now here's proof. This is a real $50 bill. This is this a real, is a real $50, $50 bill. bill. And, and what it's got Etta Cetera here behind a field yeah, of stars. This is oh, Australia thought that, or the country of Australia thought that we were such it's good It's Diamond tourists. Average. They it's Diamond Average. <laughs> She's on the $50 bill. You know, the 50 with me, et cetera, and then there's also... Um, She's looking very thoughtful in this, too. Yeah, a range of um, a range of other notes with tentatively on them. And the, like, instead of, you know, the clear transparency, there's... That's and it. all of you Australians can do this to money, and we highly recommend that you do it, because it's a way of personalizing your money. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what I suggest is that every... Well, it is your money, isn't it? It well, is suggest, your money. Why not personalize it? I suggest that every Australian put, should put their image behind that little plastic window that's so conveniently placed there for them to do that, and that uh, then everybody collect them all, right? How many people are in Australia? 19 million? Well, everybody should collect 
every one of the issues uh, that has everybody's petrol. petrol. So you should yeah. have at least 19 yeah. million of these things. You, you realise that capital is a step ahead of you, mm. that the Australia Post in this country now allows you to put your own image on your own postage stamp, as long as you pay it's, for it. Isn't it just yeah. next well, to the stamp, though, not really on the stamp? No. Our method doesn't necessarily requiring require having to pay for it. Just, uh -huh. just oh, that's interesting. collecting the money. <laughs> you collect you the money. the money is up to you. Right, right. I suggest using imaginative methods. Imaginative methods. Another idea that we have about money is basing money around rare ideas instead of rare metals like gold, etc. I think that basing money around rare ideas is far, far more interesting. Well, it does um, sound very interesting, doesn't it? What's a rare idea? You got any ideas? Hmm. Mm. No money against capitalism is money, a rare idea. Rare idea. But it's idea. becoming less rare, so we might have to yeah, devalue it. It's more of a mass it. movement, isn't it? Yeah. In fact, it's already taken over the whole country while we're sitting here in the studio. That's right. Be afraid. <laughs> of what? Of your friends? We're not afraid. Our listeners aren't afraid. Yeah. I want, I want to, They'll start and what else afraid do you do? their money starts eating a hole through their pants. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Some of our listeners are pretty interesting. They may actually find it exciting when the money eats a hole through their pants. Yeah, we'll come to think of it. I'm feeling a strange sensation right now, too, but... 